I recently answered the question, who's the right patient to consider Lemtrada? This video will answer the question, who's the right doctor to give Lemtrada? If you'd like to hear my perspective on that question, stay tuned, because I'm going to answer it right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I recently published a video where I addressed the question, who's the right patient fit to receive Lemtrada? It was a video focused on philosophy. What's the right philosophical mindset that leads some people to consider, yes, I want Lemtrada induction compared to no, I don't. It was brought to my attention that we make group decisions. We make decisions with the patient and the family and the provider together as a team. And that's what this video is for. In this video, I'm going to be talking about who's the right doctor, who's the right MS provider to be giving Lemtrada. Now, this is not gospel. This is simply my opinion. And just because I feel that there are certain characteristics that would make one physician more successful at giving Lemtrada than another doesn't make me right. It just makes me opinionated. So please keep that in mind when you watch the following. Let's get started. When I try to answer the question, who's the right provider to give Lemtrada? I, again, think philosophically. There are three philosophies that I think a provider has to embrace in order to be the most successful provider of Lemtrada. Number one, the provider has to accept the philosophy of induction therapy. As I've shared in other videos, most commonly we treat MS using an escalation model. Lemtrada is different. It's an induction model, sometimes referred to as immune reconstitution or rebooting the immune system. My point here is to be successful, the provider has to accept induction as a style of therapy and be willing to take that on with the patient to use Lemtrada. Number two, we have to be willing to deal with risk. Risk of untreated multiple sclerosis, risk of undertreated multiple sclerosis, risk of refractory to treatment multiple sclerosis, because these are the kind of patients that we might be grappling with when we think about Lemtrada. Likewise, we have to be willing to accept risk of the therapy and have a strategy to mitigate the risks of infusion reaction, autoimmunity, infection, etc. Number three, the provider has to be willing to work philosophically in a network with other providers. I am a neurologist. I am not an endocrinologist with expertise in managing autoimmune thyroid. I am not a hematologist with expertise in managing immune thrombocytopenia. I am not a dermatologist. You get the point. And so in order for me to be successful in managing Lemtrada, which has risk profiles outside of neurology, I think that I have to be comfortable working in a network where I lean on an endocrinologist, a nephrologist, I lean on a hematologist when needed. And by doing so, in my opinion, I strengthen my ability to care for a patient while giving them trata. Now, as a bonus tip, let me describe to you my opinion of the ideal state, the perfect situation uh, with the close to ideal limb trata provider. It would be an MS specialist who works in a comprehensive MS center. Why? Because they have a multitude of resources that extend beyond just the clinician, and that patient receiving limb trata can tap into that. Number two for the ideal state would be a provider in a team that has a lot of experience with Lemtrada infusion, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Hopefully this is not a location where they've infused one or two patients. The ideal state is that they do it at a higher volume so they have a lot of expertise. Part and parcel to this is that provider having a clear cut laid out plan for how to mitigate risk and how to respond to abnormal lab values and how to respond to new clinical symptoms when they arise. Lastly, it's a provider that has an established relationship with key specialists to frame that important network to optimally care for that patient. In summary, this video focuses on the provider. Who's the right clinician to be administering Lemtrada? And if I think about the question philosophically, there are three things that I think we have to embrace to be really good at this. Number one is we have to be willing to accept induction therapy as a style of treatment. 
Number two, we have to be willing to deal with risk. Lastly, we have to be willing to work within a network so that we can lean on colleagues who have expertise in other areas. Once again, this is my opinion and I would love to hear yours. Is this an opportunity for a call to action? Do you agree that we need to seek out providers who are optimally poised to give this drug and we need to make sure that they're comfortable doing it? Or do you have a different opinion? If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a like. And if you'd enjoy hearing more content like this, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, take care.